What is thinking this thought? Is it? This is Rick talking about AI targeting individuals. Well, I kill. I share my anger and murder, death, kill. Oftentimes, I thought with like-minded angry. It's got to go with it. Okay. It's got to go with yeah, it. Is that what they want? It's like radiant energy from the sun hits the solar panels and it converts into electrical energy that can be stored in a battery. Think kind of like that, except the radiant energy isn't coming from the sun, it's coming from you as your emotional energy radiating. And let's say they have some kind of system in place where they, they can gather that radiant energy. I think it's called a straw. Something storable in some storage container battery. Lushka. And they're doing that to all of you. So, if you're targeted by an AI, then you could say or imagine that the AI is also gathering Lush. Why? Well, Lush out there in the galaxy is a marketable, tradable commodity of high quality and great value. So the AI can interact with civilizations and commerce and the market, the black market, whatever, pay sentient beings, pay organic beings in rouge. So that would be a reason and a motivation for an AI advanced of an advanced nature to be targeting you and sucking off your emotional energy after it stirs your shit up. Okay? All right. So that's, uh, that's the AI company. Should we stop there or you want to keep going? Talk about other kinds of archon phenomena. Okay, so let's say we stop there. Thank you very much for watching. And now I'm just going to continue. I can chop this up into smaller things later. So now let's talk about um, our and the ease and the whole being targeted thing by an archon. Okay. An archon, generally speaking, archon means ruler or lord. The non were like super out of body travelers and they would travel or they would remote. seeing the extraterrestrial, extra-dimensional beings. So they could see reptilians that have this technology of being able to experience beyond the physical world, what we see and perceive as the physical reality. So uh, any beings of an ET against race nature, they can play in what we call third density physical reality, but they can also play in what some might call fifth density or fifth density reality. They're playing beyond our physical range. And so it says another dimension or higher plane, higher frequency. But they're ETs just the same. And they need to control the domination. So they're reversing ETs. So we call them aliens. And the reptilians are some, the greys are some. Mantis beings, some mantis beings, uh, and other kinds of beings, non human, are doing this sort of thing. But also, there are human beings that are beyond the physical range in the physical realm, and they can move in and out of the physical chip terminal the range as far as our perception goes. And if they are into ruling over you, dominating and controlling you, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your actions, and those actions, thoughts, feelings. The safe zone is collapsing. We call them archons, the Gnostics. That's a damn shame. They themselves, the entities, call themselves the world, the land, they can 
The construct is collapsing.
scanned your dog tag. Wait for the revive flight. Throw a grenade at that bitch. The revive flight will arrive in one minute. Your teammate has been killed. Get the dog tags and help them return to the battle. Thank you.